In question 7, the problem statement says the adjacent figure HOPE that you see here is a parallelogram. Find the angle measures X, Y and Z and state the properties you use to find them. So X is this angle here, the angle at E. Y is this angle here, which is angle HPO. And Z is this angle here, which is angle PHO. We have to find the measures of all of these three angles. So let's start by finding the measure of X, which is this angle here. So this angle here will be equal to this angle here, angle HOP, because these two are opposite angles in the parallelogram. And to find this angle, H, angle HOP, it's quite easy because this angle forms a linear pair with this angle, which is marked as 70 degrees. So let's write it out. So angle O, the the exterior angle at angle O at vertex O is 70 degrees, which is given to us. So this means that the interior angle at O, which I can write simply as angle O, will be 180 degrees minus 70 degrees, and this is equal to 110 degrees. So this angle here, angle HOP, is 110 degrees, and this means that the angle opposite will also be equal. So angle E which is X will be equal to 110 or angle O, uh, which is 110 degrees. And this is because opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. So opposite angles in any parallelogram are equal. So this is what we are using to find the measure of X. So the measure of X is 110 degrees. All right, now how can we find the measure of Y? So this angle that you see, this angle here, angle Y, this basically forms an alternate interior angle pair with this angle here, angle PHE. So let's make use of this fact. So angle HPO, which is this angle here, angle HPO, is equal to angle PHE. And these are basically equal because they are alternate interior angles for the parallels HE and OP and the transversal HP. All right, so angle HPO is Y and angle PHE is already given to us. Angle PHE is 40 degrees. So, ang so Y is equal to 40 degrees. So this is the value of Y, 40 degrees. Now we finally have to find Z and that's actually quite easy to find. So Z is this angle here, angle PHO. And to find Z, we can consider the triangle PHO. So I'm going to highlight this triangle for you, angle PHO. In this triangle, you can see that uh, this angle 70 degrees is the exterior angle, and this must be equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So in triangle PHO, by exterior angle property, angle sum property. So by exterior angle sum property, we must have the exterior angle which is marked as 70 degrees must be equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. The opposite inter interior angles are Y and Z. So 70 degrees must be equal to Y plus Z and the value of Y we've already calculated as 40 degrees. So this means that Z will be 70 degrees minus Y or 70 degrees minus 40 degrees and this is equal to 30 degrees. So the measure of Z is 30 degrees. So that's the answer to this question. Uh, the measure of X is 110 degrees, the measure of Y is 40 degrees and the measure of Z is 30 degrees. And this completes question number 7. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.